Hi everyone, I'm a professional data recovery engineer and I'm going to show you how I recover data from a faulty MacBook Pro from 2016 or 2017. Welcome to the channel guys, I'm a professional data recovery engineer and customers mail in these faulty MacBooks from all around the country and it's my job to get the data back. Now this model MacBook Pro is the A1707 and you can find the model number underneath the bottom in the fine print at the back. Now this is the 15 inch version, there's also a smaller 13 inch version which is A1706 with very similar technology. Now the 2016 and 2017 MacBook was the first model to get released with the touch bar, the touch ID power button and they also only released it with the USB-C ports, that meant everyone had to go out and buy all those dongles to run all their accessories. So the first thing I do is I plug this into the power point and I see if it's going to charge and turn on. Now this one, a bit hard to see on the meter, is charging at 20 volts and 0 amps. So it is not charging at all. Let's see if we can get it to turn on. So definitely no activity when we try to turn it on. The screen remains blank. We do get a little bit of current drawn and then it just goes back to zero amps. So let's open it up and find out. So there's six screws on the bottom of this MacBook and it requires a special pentalobe screwdriver. And to open the lid, you just want to lift away from the serial number. So where the four screws are, lift away and pull away and it will decouple from this hinging system. Now this MacBook Pro is absolutely filthy inside, there's dust everywhere, the fans are clogged up. By the way, this model was very famous when it hit the market for having a flex cable issue. Because of the touch bar, they called it flex gate. Uh, so if you've got any LCD issues, you can get um, flickering screen, screen turns off when you open and shut the lid. You might want to open in here and check all the flex cables to the LCD panel because that was notorious for many years. So under this section here with this screw removed and this little tab folder back I can check the battery voltage. See if it's completely drained. If it's completely drained we know there's something wrong with it. So you've got a negative here and a positive here and we've got 11.85 volts. Now if you read the fine print on the battery, it'll say that the nominal voltage is 11.4 volts and this battery is definitely within range. So that's a good thing and we don't have an issue with the, char the battery charge. Okay, so what we're going to do now is have a check of the electronics and see if there's something obvious that's faulty with the motherboard on this. Now the big problem with these 2016-2017 MacBooks is it's the first time Apple integrated all the electronics, that's the RAM and SSD, into the one logic board. So there's nothing removable, there's nothing serviceable, there's nothing replaceable. That makes it very difficult to do data recovery or any repair work with this because essentially a lot of shops will just, like Apple, replace the whole logic board making it very expensive to repair this laptop. Now if you look at the thermal camera, we've got some cyclic power happening and you can see some heat signatures somewhere in this area to somewhere down here as it's trying to start up or it's trying to do something. So you're just seeing a couple of different chips cycle between energy. If we do a microscope inspection, we can see that this motherboard is very dirty and there's a lot of dust. It's probably done a lot of outdoor work or it sucked in a lot of debris, you can just see it everywhere down the side here, dust. But more importantly is the condition of electronics. So even though it's kind of dirty and filthy and, and I mean look at that fan, there's no way that's been cooling it. Maybe it's overheated. I wouldn't expect that cooling system to be very efficient at all. The electronics themselves seem to be in very good condition. At least there's no obvious corrosion on the electronics, but it wouldn't take much for this to fail. So many weak points in this model MacBook, uh, it's hard to know where to begin. But the general kind of cleanliness, the electronics, nothing very obvious. And of course, you've got to pull these out, and it's a lot of work to remove these just to check the other side. So, 
let's move on to getting the data back. So the Apple Store did offer this customer a repair, but it was more expensive than what it would cost to buy a new laptop. Of course, that makes sense. Apple, that's what they do. They'll just sell you a new laptop. They won't fix it. Uh, it's too expensive to fix. There's just too much stuff here. So the customer has mailed this to me and they have asked to get their data back off this MacBook nice and safe. So I'm going to move on to my next solution. My solution is to remove this little panel here. I need a special screwdriver to do it. Now I can connect my special Lifeboat Apple hardware connector to recover the data directly from the onboard SSD. So now I can connect this cable to this laptop and it should detect. And there it is. We now have access to the faulty 2016-2017 MacBook. And now we have access to all the original files and folders on the customer's laptop and it's going to be saved so it's nice and safe to return back to the customer. So if you need data recovery from a 15 inch 2016 to 2017 MacBook Pro or the little 13 inch version, you can mail in at zeroalpha.com.au and we will get your data back.